Giving back to the community is common at Buckley Air Force Base. The Colorado Air Guard helps promote aviation through the Tuskegee Mile High Flight Program. Master Sergeant Rochelle Smith brings us this unique story. This past April, members of the Tuskegee Mile High Flight Program visited Buckley Air Force Base to get an up-close and personal view of the Colorado Air National Guard's F-16 fighter aircraft. The flight program, founded 10 years ago by retired Air Force Reserve pilot Eric Mosley, gets its name from the nation's first African-American combat pilots who flew with distinction during World War II. Mosley, whose father is one of the original Tuskegee Airmen, started the Tuskegee Mile High Flight Program to carry on that strong legacy and provide opportunities for young men and women from diverse backgrounds. And the purpose of the program is to give students, uh, generally in the high school aged uh, range, an opportunity to learn about the aviation and aerospace industries through uh, tours and uh, uh, opportunities to meet with uh, some of the aviation and aerospace professionals. Daryl Seerugs is a volunteer with the Tuskegee Mile High Flight Program. The type of young people that we look for in the Tuskegee Air Mile High Flight Program are, first of all, those that are interested in aviation and aerospace. Also, we're looking for, in the young people, you know, someone that wants to succeed, that wants to push themselves, you know, to their fullest potential. And we have things in our program that uh, points them in that direction. Maurice Newton is also a volunteer with the program. Uh, yes, I do what I do because, uh, well, a couple reasons. One, I know that there were people who, who helped me get to where I am. And just, uh, I didn't have the same role models that some of these kids have now. Uh, there weren't very many minority pilots when I was growing up. Actually, I knew none. And so I think now to be able to go to high schools um, and events like this and show them that they can do the same thing I do um, is very helpful. Every year... Lieutenant Colonel Julian Clay, an F-16 pilot with the 120th Fighter Squadron, gives a tour to the kids of the flight program. I've been given the tour of the fighter squadron to uh, the Tuskegee Airmen's Mile High Flight Program for about 10 years now, ever since the program began. I really enjoy talking to the young people, telling them about careers in aviation and the Colorado Air National Guard. I like to let them know that the sky's the limit. If I can do it, they can too. Well, the kids make the program really. And it's just great to see them succeed in whatever their ambitions are. Uh, many of them go into aviation. Uh, that's not uh, our uh, ambition is to make pilots out of every one of these students, but uh, simply to demonstrate to them through uh, the examples of uh, uh, Colonel Clay, for example, that uh, with work and uh, with some motivation and, and dedication that they can make their goals as well. Uh, you know, he provides such an outstanding example of, uh, of uh, somebody who can, uh, uh, you know, take... Uh, 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 you know, take the resources that he has and, uh, and turn it into something that, uh, that is really something uh, in incredibly special. For First Air Force Now, this is Master Sergeant Rochelle Smith. I'm Captain Scott Williams, and that concludes this edition of First Air Force Now. Remember that wherever you are and whatever you're supporting, there's a story. To help us tell yours, contact the First Air Force News Director. And to all the men and women who are making sacrifices at home and abroad, we thank you. And we'll see you again soon with another edition of First Air Force Now.